Hello, Taurus. How are you? How is everything going? It looks like you are on the right path, love. Whatever this is. Oh, we're going to be doing an overview of September. Um, seven subjects, seven decks of cards. And we're there. Okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You are on course. We have Avalon with the water chalice. And the bottom of the deck is Merlin with Temple of the Sun, Revelation, New World. Oh my God, and there's love again. Okay, with Wisdom. The Wisdom card is there too. I just don't have enough hands. Okay, Woo, big changes for Taurus have been happening already. All right, you are the Magician. You have realized that there is a new world that is bigger, brighter, and it looks as though so many things that you've been going through in the past, very possibly, I'm hearing like 15, 20 years, um, in culmination is leading to this massive change. So all of that crap that you went through, it was worth it. All right, you have Avalon with Water Chalice. So Avalon, for me, is spirit coming down and personally tapping you on the shoulder. Water Chalice is Ace of Cups but bigger and more encompassing. So spirits coming down and ah, new emotions, heart chakra opening, heart opening, um, allowing, allowing, allowing. Ooh, Taurus, allowing the emotions to flow naturally. Mm-hmm. So your overall energy is a bee. A big honking V. Did you see that? You're supposed to get busy. And also for me personally, bees are um, messengers and protectors. So pay attention to, to your dreams. Pay attention to the synchronicities. You are highly protected right now. For the bee to come and just sit there like that, you are highly protected right now. All right. Get to work though. You are working towards the land of milk and honey. Okay. Oh, that was the Dragon Wisdom deck. This is Sacred Traveler. Where are you headed in September? I've got the deck upside down. Traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Along with passion and pleasure. Savor your life. On the bottom of the deck is Cleansing Waters. Purification activates vibrant life force so where you are headed is you are simplifying issues you are simplifying matters you could very well be getting rid of a lot of stuff whether that's metaphorically or physically um, passion and pleasure taking you're noticing you're noticing the little things and the little things are bringing you joy no longer focused on the the world but bringing things down closer to you. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And that is actually going to help to clear your energy. Oh, you're clearing space. You're clearing energy. Because of these new emotions that are coming in, these better emotions that are coming in, these, yeah, they're better. They're, they feel much better. Oh, that feels better. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, that feels better. Releasing, clearing, cleansing. That's what this month is about for you. So that you can receive. Oh, so that you can receive. Okay. That's beautiful. I like that. All right. Challenge for the month. We're using past life deck. Father. Wars and battles. Angels is on the bottom. All right. So... You may have a father or father figure, masculine energy, that you are still dealing with some traumas. Okay? Or you are definitely protected while you go through something with a masculine energy. Alright? Now, don't worry, we're not going to leave you there because we have the Archangel deck, How to Overcome This. Okay? Yeah. I mean, how clear is that? Wars and battles from the past. This is also a feeling of being insignificant. 
Well, that's harsh. Taurus could be could be the father of your children, could be your father, or just your own masculine energy where you don't feel as though you are capable. That's what you're going to be battling against this month, okay? How can Taurus leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy? By doing that makes sense. Nine of Ariel, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for beautiful things in life. Well, that's you, Taurus. I mean, you are ruled by Venus, right? And eight of Gabrielle is on the bottom. A great deal of activity. Hold on. Because I don't know if you can hear me over the plane. plane sounds rough. I know you can hear it. My apologies. But somebody obviously has to go somewhere. Ooh, that could be significant for you this month. Someone's got to go somewhere. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results along with, holy crap, Knight of Michael, time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes, with the change your life a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination and embrace the opportunities that change brings so lots of fast energy lots of fast energy leap of faith take that leap of faith believe in yourself how do you overcome this worn battle with this masculine energy by making changes, by taking that leap of faith, by focusing on what you want, because you are more than capable of achieving it. Listen, listen to your heart, okay? And with that, we got oath. Making a promise to yourself. I think that you've already, you may have already have done this. This promise to yourself mm, will bring a conclusion because you're going to be seeing your worthiness. And that's what it all comes down to is what I'm feeling. So you're... Your greatest uh, challenge this month is to see your own worthiness. Taurus, take that leap of faith and let it be proven to you that you are capable. Okay. Um, wisdom of the house of night, what you don't see coming. What does Taurus not see coming for September of 2023? Lust and honesty, what do you really want? What do you really want? No, not what do you want. What do you really want? Digging deep, going deep, and seeing what you really want. Okay. What you don't see coming is that you can have what you really want once you identify it. High Priestess of Spirit, what you don't see coming with lust again. And on the bottom, we have High Priestess of Fire. Quick changes. What you don't see coming this month is once you say what you really, really want, Spirit's going to bring it to you. But be careful of um, false promises from others. Be careful of... Um, what you don't see coming is temptation. That's the word. Temptation. So you can have what you really, really want, but avoid the temptations. Whatever that is for you, I don't know. And things are going to be happening, happening very quickly. Spirit is here for you. High Priestess is a spirit is right here. Oh, oh, chariot with tower. You fast energy, Taurus. Oh my God, be prepared for some quick changes, all right? Uh, Gilded Tarot, what to focus on for the month of September? Gilded, what should Taurus focus on for the month of September? So many, a lot of fast energy this month for you. Wow. It's beautiful though. Lovers. Emperor, oh, another one, two of swords, what to focus on, three of cups is on the bottom. You're going to have to make a choice about something that has been an illusion in your life. You're going to have to make a choice to release something 
to take control. This is a choice only you can make. Looks like you might be waiting. Well, let me have one for the two swords. Waiting for more energy, temperance. Yeah. Okay. So balancing things out. If you, if you if you know that you have a choice that you have to make, if you're not sure which way to go, looking into things and understanding that the knowledge is there, there is something that you have to let go of that, that is not going to be possible. It's an illusion. It's a habit. It's a thought that you can't. The thought that you can't. Okay. You absolutely can alchemize. Waiting for balance to be restored so that you can see what in your life is not real. So that you can take control. The control. All right, I'm getting a very specific message for someone. The control that you see that a, that a, a habit a thought pattern, an addiction. You see it as having control over you. And it doesn't. That's an illusion. Okay? It's up to you to balance out and to make the choice. Okay. And finally, dreams of Gaia. Spirit's advice. Spirit's adv advice for Taurus. Listening to your intuition and making a contract with yourself, a promise to yourself. Back to that. Back to that promise to yourself. I think that, mm-hmm. Okay, well, he came out in reverse. That's interesting. I never do reversals on these cards, so let's see what that's about. Something about temptation, something about... temptation here it feels like what is he five of cups hold on no not water not fire it's earth that's earth where's earth here we go five of earth I'll show you okay now spirits advice there is a wee devil within all of us. Whispers that we are acting for the greater good or not at fault where others are concerned. Does this voice encourage you? Remember that temptation. Okay. Uh, does this voice encourage you to laugh aside the fears and concerns of loved ones or to respond with defensive anger? Is it time to let your conscience guide you instead of your your desires remember your actions and choices have the power to do lasting hurt to others are you choosing to be blind or to turn your back on those who love you in order to cater to your own self-interest bad habits or addictions are you gambling with someone else's future happiness as well as your own it is easier to say that those you hurt are responsible for what they choose to feel and how they react but embracing this belief even if it's true still shows a marked lack of empathy and understanding your words and deeds have influencing consequences do not deceive yourself into believing that you are above reproach or accountability when the reversed five of earth appears, you are being cautioned against arrogance and pride. Understanding and consideration for others is needed at this time. Okay, so basically what it's saying is that because this guy, that's a little devil, isn't it? Yeah, so Spirit's advice is to fight against that, the temptation, whatever this was over here. This, I got temptation off of this. I got temptation off of this. So to fight against the temptation, whether this is to give up too early and too soon on yourself or to allow a thought pattern, an addiction, something like that, okay? Don't let that rule you this month. Break that pattern and you absolutely, it will be a game changer for you. 
and it'll bring through new emotions for you that that are just going to be amazing okay simplify your life and enjoy the little things in your life take take into stock what you have right now so that the temptations that 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 are calling to you that they they you understand where it's an illusion and it no longer brings you joy okay guys that's all i have for you for now i will see you soon peace to you